Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a um, kind of a question and answer uh, session for people that have an update to the latest versions of Windows 10. Although for the most part, for the majority of people, the update goes well, one of the most common problems of an update is a device that stops working. And this is due to the fact that a lot of the feature updates, like for example, people that moved from the April 2018 to the May 2019 update, uh, that's a reinstall of Windows. It might not show, it's not like you know we had in the past, but these are reinstalls of Windows actually that happen in the background. And that means it reinstalls and moves ahead all the drivers. So the problem with the moving ahead of the drivers what it does is that sometimes a device might not have an updated driver for the new version of Windows 10, which in the case that it is, is a problem with the manufacturer, not Windows 10 itself. In another case is maybe something stops working simply because it needs to be reinstalled. So always remember that if you have a feature update that comes and First of all, let's just say that the next update, the November 2019 update, is not going to probably cause that type of problem because it's a cumulative update. It's like a regular patch Tuesday update. But a big update, for example, if you haven't yet moved to the May 2019 update from an earlier version, or if you're going to move next year to 20H1, those are major updates they might actually cause an issue with some hardware sometimes. So uh, what I regularly see is, you know, people saying, oh, my Bluetooth doesn't work anymore, or my Wi-Fi stopped working, or um, a fingerprint reader stopped working, or my printer stopped working. If that ever happens, what you simply need to do is check the manufacturer of your PC. If you get a Dell, a Toshiba, uh, you know, an HP, an Acer, a Lenovo, you need to um, simply go to the manufacturer's website and make sure you got the latest drivers for whatever device is not working. Same if you would have some freezes or problems, maybe just check the devices. One little trick that you can use is go into your start button on the bottom left of your screen and right click on it and go into device manager. Here in the device manager, you will actually see the device list and what might not be working. So anything that doesn't work will be separated. Like here, I've disabled this. That's why it's separated. But if you have anything in here that says uh, has a, you know maybe an exclamation point or a little yellow triangle or something, that tells you that that device isn't working well. And so you can go to the manufacturer's website to have it, um, you know, download the driver again and the software that goes with it. And often it will actually reactivate and make that device work again. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen on some occasions that this happens uh, or this is one of and probably the most common problem of an update or an upgrade from Windows 10 to a newer version of Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.